following presentation is for mature audiences only. Who are you? He's a fine man. All hell is broken loose. He's a great broadcaster. He's a very powerful guy. Absolutely brilliant. Feared by men, adored by women. He's a smart boy. It's patriotic. It's no big deal. It's the end of the world. I might as well tell you now. He's a monkey. And how you doing, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome in to another edition of The Wild Side with Eric Clark. I am your host, Eric Clark, saying thank you for taking time out of your busy day being awesome to hang out with us on the east side of Nashville. Make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel, hit that notification button for the live stream, smash the like button for the algorithm. If you have a band, song, or a video, something you'd like me to make a video on, uh, best place to get me that suggestion over at the discord server left hand side YouTube reaction requests read the pin message drop a link a brief description and I will get to it when I can some folks on discord said hey man I love when you jump in the way back machine check out this classic so today we are jumping in the way back machine going all the way back to the summer of 1981 picking up the album rock and roll we're checking out and talking about the breakup song by the Greg Kin Band. It's on the wild side. Let's check it out. That is the Greg Kinn Band with the Summer of 81 classic, the breakup song. They just don't write them like that anymore. And I'm going to tell you right now, more than I worked 20-something plus years in classic rock radio, and I'm telling you right now, right now, I've probably gotten more than two dozen phone calls on the request line wanting to hear the uh 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 uh, uh. I, they've sang it to me <laughs> like they, it's called the breakup song they just don't write them like that anymore released summer of 81 the name of the album is rock kin roll now the greg kin band went on to see massive success with their mtv dominating my sharona but what i think a lot of people miss out on when they hear a song like this which is earlier greg kin is you're hearing this conflict of color and tone, because these are bands and artists that are influenced by much earlier music, and you're hearing a lot of that, but you're also hearing the modernity of the post-punk era. 
So you're hearing this really cool collision of this post-punk aggressive vibe because this song doesn't stop. Right from the opening lick, the drums and the bass of this track really establish the um, immediacy of the emotion in this track. This, it starts, it goes, the, it, the, the, the tempo and the beat stays the same the whole way. And the bass and the drum create that foundation. Now that is going to be your basic foundation, but over top of it is woven this really cool conflict of era. So the vocals are conferring this modernity, not only through the lyric, because the song is talking about, it's a breakup song, it is. It's, it's a song talking about breaking up with a girl and not having the songs that there used to be back in the day. So it's a lamentation on the days gone by, woven into the lyrics of the track. But Greg's vocals and the immediacy of the message on top of that bass and drum create that modernity, that anger, that angst. So the angst and the emotion that is coming through is that post-punk Husker Du replacements, Greg Kin band, that kind of, you know, I guess American pop punk. I don't know. Again, I don't do labels. If it rocks, it rocks. This is just a, a great rock song. When someone says rock song, this is what I'm talking about. Four instruments creating this duality of tone. So you've got Greg's vocals creating that modernity on top of, yo, man, this guitar player, and I, I wish I could remember, I think his last name is Phillips or something. Um, I'm trying to remember the the album liner notes. Um, the tone that he's creating in this track, I want you to understand something. The tone that's created in this track is 1981, yet the tone is from the 1950s. But it's also got a really sweet tinge of the modern progression. So the tone of the guitar is very um, Ventures, uh, Del Shannon, Dick Dale, that I call it a fat body guitar, but it's it's not. It's just a, you know, later on you heard it in like um, Mighty Mighty Boss Tones and ska bands would carry that sound forward. And you're hearing the American West Coast version of that because these guys came out of, the, I think, the San Francisco area or somewhere on the West Coast. So they really embody the sound of the legacy of the time while also creating a sweet modernity. It's a two and a half minute track, but... It's so fresh and it's so clean that it's almost ironic that he writes a song about a breakup saying there are no more good breakup songs. And this is one of the greatest breakup songs ever. This is right up there with um, the one I love by R.E.M. when it comes to a good breakup song. Uh, one I love by R.E.M. is a great example. Um, no Hard Feelings by the Bloodhound Gang is a really great breakup song. But this is a great example of that late 70s, early 80s tone coming out of the U.S., this really sweet, progressive sound of this post-punk slash straightforward just rock because all of these bands were influenced by so much, uh, so many tones and sounds and colors that when you hear it all put into one, you're hearing the 50s surf guitar coming out of California. You're hearing the angst and the punk that was, you know, the American post-punk that was coming out of like the Minneapolis area, the the um, Wash the Baltimore, Washington D.C. area, the New York area, places like that. You know, Buster Poindexter and all of that. Um, the angst in there. You're also hearing this really sweet building foundation of what a great song means as far as the impetus and the motivation through the track. Again, the drum and the bass don't stop in the song. The song starts and they keep going and they build the perfect bridge. You connect with it. It's it's connecting with your um, universal tone of heartbreak. And that's what makes a great song. I, I spoke with a, a guy named Steve Cropper. If you don't know who the colonel is, please start listening to more music. I had a chance to sit down and have breakfast, French toast and scrambled eggs with Steve Cropper. And I had a chance to speak to him about the songs that he wrote, these really great you know, great just songs, just great pop songs. And he said, man, I write about two things that everybody relates to. What makes you happy, what makes you sad. And Greg Kinn and the Greg Kinn band tap in to not only the lyrical message and the lyrical connection, but the music itself also provides a great surround sound 
for that emotional connection. So thank you to the Discord folks. We were goofing off one day in LinkShare, posting a bunch of older stuff, and they said, hey, man, I'd love to hear your take on that. So thank you very much for that suggestion. The Greg Kinn Band, the breakup song, they just don't write them like that anymore, and they, they, don't, even write them like, they don't even write them like this anymore. So I hope that the irony is not lost on anybody. If you have a band, song, or a video, something you want me to check out, Get over to the Discord server. I'm sorry, I've got my laundry going. Uh, get over to the Discord server, left-hand side, YouTube reaction request, read the pinned message, drop a link, a brief description. I will get to your suggestion when I can. Also down below, we have all of our social media as well, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And if you would like to help the channel grow and contribute, we have everything from Patreon to PayPal. Thank you to Connect 200 Music to See and Aunt Betty's Nut Butter. Thank you to all of you for taking time out of your busy day being awesome to hang out with us on the east side of Music City, USA. Make sure you're looking out for each other. Make sure you're looking out for your neighbor. Try to do at least one good thing a day. I am Eric Clark, and this is The Wild Side. <laughs>